Okay, I'm going to do a little video on how to change your shift points in your automatic transmission. This uh, kit I have from B&M is will change the shift points in a Turbo 350, 400, 700R4, and 4L60 as long as it's not the electronic version. What you get in the kit is a set of weights and springs and you take out your governor out of the transmission and you change the weights heavier or lighter depending on which way you want to uh, go with the shift point <coughs> to uh, raise the shift point so say 4,000 or 4,500 up to 5,000 or higher you're going to want to go with a lighter weight than you originally have in there on your governor so I'm going to show a little clip on how to get the governor out of your transmission. Okay, this is the car I'm working on today. See, 76 Pontiac Ventura that I swapped a uh, 92 Camaro engine and transmission into. It has a 305 throttle body injection and 700R4 transmission to get to the governor on this particular car. Got the 700R4 or 4L60 transmission and to get to it it's on the driver's side and it's going to be right near the cross member here okay so here's the transmission pan here's your drive shaft so you want to look pretty close to where the uh, that armor cable drive is. Order reluctor if you have the electronics. And there's going to be a round kind of cover. And that's it right there. So what you want to do, some of them have a clip on it. Some don't. This one's just pressed in. No clip. It's a 92 Camaro transmission. So you want to pop that off with a screwdriver. Your governor will be right under there. So you're going to want to get a... Uh, a pan and possibly some cardboard to put down to catch any uh, transmission fluid that leaks out. M not much will leak out, maybe you know half a cup. Okay, I've got the cover off now, and I had a pretty pretty hard time getting this one off. It's wedged in there pretty good, so I bent it a little bit to straighten that out. But here we go. So if you can see, there's a. Uh, there's the governor right there. And we have to just pull it out. Okay, now that I've got the governor out, all you have to do is uh, trim these pins off. Just clip these off with nippers. Take the pins out. And these are your weights and springs in here. There's a heavy outer weight and your inner weight. That's the one you'll be changing. And as you can see in the bottom, there's some springs in there. What I recommend doing is just changing one weight at a time. So take, cut, <coughs> cut this end off one and then uh, go lighter if you want to improve your shift point higher. Change this one weight at a time and there's no real set uh, numbers to go by so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my weight I'm going to weigh it on a scale and then I'm going to weigh these particular weights that came with the uh, shift kit and uh, I'm going to put in one that's a bit lighter and then we'll have to test drive the car to see where what changes Okay, I took my diagonal cutters and I cut the head off of that pin. And here is the weights and springs off of that one side. So I'm going to leave that stock weight in there, or stock spring in there. I'm just going to change the weight. The weights do a bigger change than the springs. The springs are more like fine tuning. So I'm going to weigh this on my scale. Put it into grams. This is a stock weight, 
16 grams. Okay, the number one BM weight is 16 grams also. Then we have 14 grams. Number two, looks lighter, is number three. That is about 12 grams. The weights make a big change and the springs are fine tuning. So I'm going to go with that number three weight. I'm trying to change the shift point. Right now it's shifting from uh, first to second. It's shifting at about 4200 RPM. I want to bring that up to about 5500 RPMs. So I'm going to go with this weight here. And it looks like it might be more like 11 grams. Kind of alternating between 10 and 12 here. So that's what I'm going to put in first. I'm going to test drive it and see what kind of shift point I get. My kit comes with these little axles and C clips to replace, but I found that a uh, 4D hard trim hard trim nail. And all I do is I grind the tip a little bit because it has a it's a little flared when they make that point. That works great and as an axle. Those little clips are really hard to get on. So I just use one of these nails and just bend it over. Okay, there you go. I put that nail on there, I bent it over, and then I trimmed it off with a little cutoff tool, like a little Dremel tool. I'm gonna test the uh, part throttle shifts. It's not warmed up yet. Let's see what RPM is about. Quarter throttle here. up on it a little bit. Get fourth gear. So I'm going about 60 now. The yeah, full throttle shift point test. test driving the vehicle after changing that uh, governor weight I went from a 16 gram weight to a about a 10 or 11 grams and that was enough to change my shift point from about 4,000 to about 5,000 rpms in both the first to second and second to third shifts so I'm gonna hold off right there with the uh, shift points for now Eventually I'll probably get it up to 5,500. Uh, I may use some of the, just change the spring next time to fine tune it. But I'm gonna do some uh, tuning on the car now. I'm gonna, I got a setup to do chip tuning. And I'm gonna do a little video on the chip tuning later on. So take care guys.